Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animosh and yes, I'm back with another not this one, this <laughs> watch review, but this um, uh, Huawei on a uh, me uh, no, no, Huawei on a Band Three review. Okay, so <laughs> why did I choose to put this Samsung Galaxy Watch here instead? Okay, so I've I've had this watch for about three weeks already. I didn't really use it uh, mainly because. Uh, the only feature that I, I after using it for after using you know the only feature that I will you know be appreciating not be appreciating I will mostly gladly use is the uh, pedometer where you can track the uh, the step count as as a step counter and the heart rate and also the sleep tracking function. So this thing costs about two hundred fifty bucks or maybe some in some area uh, three hundred bucks, but this one is just twelve. Or is it 15? I think mostly you're gonna pay about 15 bucks, right? So that's about 60 ringgit Malaysia. Okay, so it does all the three things that I've said just now. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Let's do a quick report check today. I'm still wearing my stocking TM something. I can't remember the <laughs> the the um the reference number, but yeah, it is a cool blue watch. A bit too big for my liking, but yeah, and it has originally it has a black leather strap on it, but I've swapped it out to this. Um, what do you call this waffles trouble strap from chiposnetostrap.com and it looks really really nice okay so let's get to the watch itself okay this me not me but not, sorry <laughs> this is the Huawei Honor Band 3 so the latest version of this band Honor Band is actually Honor, Honor Band 4 but I decided to get this one because this for me I think the feature uh, price comparison ratio the features base versus the piece the the, you know the features that I want. This is a much better option for me. Okay, so let's. Um, I'm not going to do a quick <laughs> a dimension check because it's really just that a simple black colored uh, strap. Uh, actually, the device itself is in black, and you can actually order this thing in three colors: black, uh, blue, and orange. Of course, you can always have an aftermarket options. There are tons of options that you can check from aliexpress or similar websites okay so yeah the dimensions i can't really remember how long is it not not that it matters but the luck to luck is maybe about 50 millimeters but of course i'll show you on my wrist letter how it confirms to my 6.75 inch wrist the thickness is just about 12 uh, or 13 millimeters and the the width of this thing is about maybe around 15 to 15 millimeters so not that small and the most important thing is this is really really um how to say really really light so you don't really feel it on your wrist right so because when i use the samsung galaxy watch to make to track my sleeping uh, sleeping pattern this thing is quite heavy so when you want to track your sleep so you need to make sure that this sensor is really touching your screen you know no, your skin but when you wear this Samsung Galaxy Watch, it's a bit too big and it's a bit too heavy and it causes a little bit of a discomfort. But when you're using this one, it's really, you know, it's really light. So you don't really feel it when you're sleeping. Okay, so let's, for just a comparison, that's like, what, 20 grams? And the Samsung is, I think I've done this before. That's about 80 grams. So that's four times much heavier compared to the uh, to the uh, Honor Band 3. All right, so... So the features, the features we have this, I can't remember, maybe it's 0 0.9 uh, inch screen. We have this, um, this button here. You can just, this, can't really, okay, so you can, if you, when you put it on the wrist, it will measure your uh, heart rate. And then this, this is your normal, you know, this is the only face that is available. So it shows you the, um, the steps that you've done, right, after, as of the day. 8.33, the battery status and also the uh, connection Bluetooth connection status and also the day and date, right? So you scroll through and you've got this measuring and then you've got this outdoor run, swimming, uh, out indoor run and also your step counter, counter and when you long press this button here, it will show you how many steps we have, uh, how many slap, how many hours that I've slept uh, the night before, uh, how many kilometers that I have trouble, how many calories that I have burned and how many minutes have been exercising and how many hours have i take a rest all right so right so let's see 
the, to fit this one on your wrist okay so because we are <laughs> all watch enthusiasts right so you would not you're not going to have this tang buckle uh, you, well you could but there's an aftermarket option for that so you don't you're not going to have this one but instead we have this um, strap with a lots of holes and then we have this um, uh, how to say this uh, okay focus come on focus so we have this honor holes no here yeah, not holes honor what do you call this? I can't remember what this is called, but still, when you wanted to put it, to put it like, you just have to put inside this loop. Okay, come on, come on, come on, and then because there are two, right? Because there are two pins here, so you're gonna make sure that both of them is tucked in properly. Okay, so my wrist, as much as I mentioned before, is six point seven five, so I have about four holes left so basically this is good for somebody who is maybe around six inches so you can see that it wears contours nicely to my wrist and you want to make sure that the strap okay the watch itself is not on this uh, wrist bone right so because if it's here it's not going to be able to detect your um, your heart rate so it's you need to put it here so this is where i knew normally wear my mechanical watches but for this particular band you need to make it tight right so otherwise it won't count your sleep right so the app that you use to connect to the watch itself so basically there are two apps that you must uh, install first is the um, what do you call it uh, Huawei where is it okay Huawei Wear alright Huawei Wear this one you use when you want to you know pair up the device or you want to sync because when you receive this watch you will all you will receive it in chinese language mode so you, you need to pair up with this software so that you can download the you can sync up and download the uh, english version of that of 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 this uh, watch right so after you've done this i'm using a huawei telephone a huawei phone that is why this huawei health is already installed so so you're gonna have to pair it again with this huawei uh health app which is quite weird because we expect everything is uh, you know it's synced up together but it's actually not so you need to pair both to both of the app okay so these are the data that i have uh, tracked for the past um, how many days six uh, five days okay so uh today i've last night i've slept for about four four point eight hours so when you want to just put click there so you i'll know that i have this is my deep sleep, uh, light sleep, REM sleep, and wake. So they even give me a recommend recommendation. So my score is 65 points. You woke up two times last night. A comfortable sleeping environment can help you better. A cozy sleeping environment can help you, can help you sleep, blah, blah, blah. And you can see they give me a rating. Night sleep is low. Deep sleep is normal. Light sleep is too high. REM sleep is normal. Deep sleep continuity is 57 points. is low. Awake two times. Yeah, and they give you a suggestion, right? So let's say I put week. So your main sleep issue this week is deep sleep ratio was too low. So I know that I need to increase my deep sleep ratio. So and they even give me and a suggestion on what are the diets <laughs> that I need to take. All right, so that is why I like this uh, app. So I, I really appreciate this uh, sleep tracking mode. Okay, so of course we have this usual step counter and everything. So I know that I am way below my target. Uh, step daily step which is 10,000 uh, steps a day so you can see that I didn't even achieve 5,000 steps a day right now so ah that sucks okay so this is where it gets tricky so when you want to go let's say to the to the to do your outdoor walk so you just set this uh, you, you, you just uh, you know you just start this play button and then boom it will start okay, Activity started. okay it just starts and oh I, I didn't pair it oh sorry about that Activity pulsed. Alright, so you need to pair this one first. I'm gonna have to stop it. Okay. Okay, Activity so stopped. this watch itself didn't came with a GPS, but when you start your activity you, uh, activity outside, you press start here, and then the watch will calculate your heart rate. Okay, so that's let's, let's just try that again. So when you start the app. Activity started. started and you can see that it's already calculating my heart rate okay so so it doesn't have gps but it tracks with your uh, uh phone so that it 
knows uh, whether your heartbeat heartbeat is rising or not. So yeah, that's kind of cool. All right. So Activity pause. Pause, and you're gonna stop the one. Oops. Okay. So, so I think for me it's enough already. So not, I don't really need much more than that. You know. So if I, uh, I could even use this for swimming the the strap this band because it has a fifty meters of water resistance, and it's what else. So yeah, you can see on this uh, page we have the my data here. Calculate my distance, how many distance travel, the heart rate. Oh yeah, so the heart rate. So I'll know in the same week I my heart rate is in this range, so average resting heart rate and the heart rate range is here, so I'm okay, I think. <laughs> and within the month, uh, what are the patterns of my heart rate? So that's all that I need, man. I don't really need all these funky features that I can call somebody from here. I can even watch videos from here. There, yeah, those are features that I appreciate to have in my smartwatch but you know what i don't really use them right so step tracking uh, step counter uh, sleep tracking and also heart rate monitoring is just what i need i don't really need to uh, read any whatsapp messages here because you know what it, yeah it can it could it could notify you that somebody's calling and uh, there is a whatsapp new whatsapp coming in but you know what the screen is so too damn small you can't even read the thing well you could read it but you know you're not going to be able to answer to the to your whatsapp call and everything so you know what i don't really need that so i just want something that is simple and uh, cheap to begin with so yeah all right so what else do we need to talk about oh yeah the battery life the battery life uh, okay so you can see that the battery life is now at 50 percent so on here you can see that it's the bar is all uh it's almost half right so this is what happens when I use this watch to um, to uh, track my sleep. So it will basically lose ten percent per day, right? So the maker said uh, the the the, the uh, what do you call this? Commercial said that this watch band will last after at one charge for about one month. So that if that is that will only be true if you don't enable this Huawei True Sleep and also the. Um, automatically measure heart rate okay so i used both of these functions i know that they that will definitely increase the battery usage but you know what that is why i bought i bought this watch in the first place but 10 days man 10 days is not bad 10 days is not bad because this thing three days once you need to charge it right so if you bought an apple watch so that's even worse <laughs> just that thing you, you need to you, you need to charge it every single day so for me 10 days per charge is good enough, right? So yeah, I don't really think that I, I need, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm the, I don't think that I need to eat for it to become, uh, to, to have like 30 days battery, battery life, but still 10 days is enough, All right? So uh, I think that's all, man. So I think that's all. So yeah, it's really neat for something that is cost, that cost me about 15 bucks. It's really, really nice. I know there are lots of other options as well that you can get in the market with more features, but, all these smart bands you need to know you need to you know decide what are the features that you're going to use for me again like I mentioned just now I only use the the pedometer the heart rate monitoring and also the sleep tracking so that is one of the main reason why I've bought this, bought this watch and also the 20 grams 20 grams uh, lightweight construction makes it really really uh, you know comfortable when you uh, sleep oh of course I forgot to mention that when you flip this thing Let's just do it again. No, okay. No, <laughs> it won't happen. But basically, the, the the screen will slip, right? So when you twist it, and okay, when you twist it, and you can see the the time. So that's that's good enough. So yeah, all in all, a good, affordable uh, band for buck. Um, I only choose this band over the Mi Band Three because it's cheaper. One, and then the second thing is because I like this. Huawei app that is available on my Huawei phone, right? So that's all for this watch, guys. So I think it's a bit too long now. So if you have, if you guys have uh, the similar uh, band or you guys uh, want to give uh, voice your opinion on what do you think of this Huawei band Honor Band Three, please go ahead and leave your comments down below. Please, if you like this kind of video or gadget style review, go gadget reviews. So please give me a thumbs up, and yeah, please uh, subscribe to my channel by clicking my face maybe down here or here, and also click the bell button. So that, so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Okay, so until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.